Hello everyone, let me introduce you to myself. My name is Adam Frejia Akbar and I'm an undergraduate medical student at the State University of Surabaya. In this video, I will explain the application of math in real life. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. In this fast-paced digital era, communication has become super important. And we have so many ways to stay in touch from messaging apps like WhatsApp, Telegram, SMS, or emails. Technology has made it possible for us to connect with people all around the world, no matter how far apart we are. But with all this connectivity comes the risk of data breaches and intercepted messages, which can seriously affect our personal and professional lives. And that's why it is so super important to know how to keep our communication private and secure. So, in today's video, we're diving into the fascinating world of cryptography. What is cryptography anyway? In simple terms, it is the field of study focused on securing data or messages. In here, we will learn how to convert plain text, which is the actual meaningful content of our message, into cheaper text, which is a coded message that doesn't make any sense without the key. Guys, there are numerous algorithms to achieve these conversions from plain text to cheaper text. But in this video, I'm going to explain one specific encryption method using concepts from graph theory combined with linear algebra. Before we delve into the details of this encryption technique, it is super important to understand some basic concepts in graph because these concepts are the building blocks of the encryption method we're going to discuss. So what is a graph? The definition of a graph is a set of vertices and edges, where each edge is a connection between vertices. For the example, we have this graph. It is called the graph J. It has vertex and edge. If you force to mathematically write down a definition of a graph, we can use set notations. For this graph G, the vertex set look like this, and the, our set of edges would be denoted like this. Let's see the definition of some important terminology that you'll see over and over again when talking about graph. So feel free to pause the video to better understand each term. And now that you understand some basic terminology in graph theory, it is time to explore how graph theory plays a role in cryptography. In this algorithm, the first process is the encryption of a message. For example, let's use the word love and see how can it be encrypted. The first step is to convert a plain text into a graph by turning each letter into vertex of the graph. Okay, since the, we have the word love, then the vertex of our graph would be like this. So each vertex of the graph is labeled with a letter. For the next step is to form a cycle graph by linking each pair of character like this. And then, after performing a cycle graph, we need to create a weighted graph by labeling each edge by a number. And this is how. First of all, represent each letter in the word love with a number according to this encoding table. So we have L is 12, O is 15, and V is 22, and E is 5. And then, Label each edge in the form cycle graph by calculating the difference between the numerical value of the letter in the underclockwise directions, like this. For example, to label the edge LE, calculate the difference between L and E, which is 7. And similarly, we can deduce the other distance of other edges like this. Yeah. 
Okay, next, we keep adding edges to form a weighted complete graph. Each new added edges has a scheduled weight starting from the maximum weight in the encoding table, which is 26. And therefore, we can add 27, 28, and so on. Then, the graph would be look like this. And next is the add a special character in the form of a letter before the first character to point to the first character. Let's use A as our special character in this case. This will give us the following graph. For the weighted edge connecting the special character and to the first letter, use the same method as before but with this indicated arrow directions. So the weight of edges calculated as AL minus A which is 12 minus 1. It is 11. And the next step is to represent the form weight graph with a matrix defined as follows. Thus, the matrix representation of this graph is as follows. Okay, the next step is to construct a minimal spanning tree of the form graph using Prim's algorithm. As you can see, the red colored edges form the tree with minimal total weight. Thus, this is our minimal spanning tree of the graph. And after we obtain the minimal spanning tree, like in the previous steps, convert this minimal spanning tree into the matrix from the defined earlier. Let's call this matrix as a matrix A2. And then we have to modif modify the matrix A2 a little bit. Uh, we can change every letter A, L, O, V, E into this number 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 according to this table. And we change every diagonal element in the matrix A2 into the uh, this number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the next step is to form a matrix A3 by multiplying matrix A1 with matrix A2 as follows. And then the final step is to form the cheaper text. In this algorithm, the resulting cheaper text will be in the form of matrix C. And this is how it's done. First, we have to determine any invertible matrix to be used as the public key. In this case, I will use the matrix K, which is an upper triangle matrix. And now we form a matrix C by multiplying matrix K with matrix A3, as follows. And yeah, finally, the cheaper text of our message love is this 5x5 five five matrix. And now we will see how to decrypt the cheaper text we have obtained to retrieve our message. So we will translate the cheaper text, which is the form of matrix C. The first step is to form matrix X by multiplying the inverse of matrix K with our cheaper text, matrix A. And this is our inverse of matrix K. It would be look like this. And then the resulting matrix X would be like this. The second step is to find matrix A2 by multiplying the inverse of matrix A1 with matrix X obtained earlier. And this is our inverse of matrix 1, matrix A1, I mean. And we can calculate the matrix A2 look like this, and it would be look like this. Okay, the next step is to convert matrix A2 into a graph using the same rules as before. As you can see, on the right is the graph representation of the matrix A2. Since we have supposed that vertex 0 is A, we can use the encoding table to transform its vertex into this graph using our original letters to form our message. For example, the vertex 1 is the code A plus the way connecting vertex 0 and vertex 1, which is 11. Therefore, the value is 12, represented by the letter L. And we can use this result to transform next vertex. For text 2, for instance, is the code L plus the way connecting vertex 1 and vertex 2, which is 3. Therefore, the value is 15, represented by the letter O. We repeat this process for each vertex until we reach this final one. Ultimately, 
obtaining our original word love. And that brings us to the end of our video on fascinating intersection of craft jewelry, cryptography, and thank you so much for watching and learning with me today. Stay curious, keep learning, and goodbye.